Hello everybody, welcome to this amazing game of Resident Evil Resistance. Today we'll be playing the survivor side, so let's jump into the queue and I will talk about everything I can. Uh, we already did a Mastermind video if you want to go check that out. I should have a link in the description, if not, just it's the last video for this one. Um, survivor is a uh, unique experience and is very team oriented, so if you're not ready to work with the team, this is not the experience for you, go play the Mastermind. Plays just like a Resident Evil game. So if you played Resident Evil, you should be ready to go, except now you have teammates. Um, I was asked to play January in the last video, so we'll be trying to snag January before anyone else does. Every survivor has a unique set of skills. We'll try to cover what January's is, her role, and exactly my strategy for playing. A few things to keep in mind is, like I said, this is a team-oriented game. Good, we landed right on January. Oh, no. Oh wait, perfect. Okay, thank you, God. Uh, so they got off January. All right, but I got January. January gets uh, her two passives are uh, Cyber Monday, which gives her cheaper, cheaper items in the shop. Uh, Disrupt rounds is higher damage to cameras from the guns. Overload is an ability that in shuts off a camera, and EMP causes the uh, camera or cards for the mastermind to cost more. They also have equipment that. We can't really go over because it's not out yet, but they give us novice gear, which gives us auto aim and uh, was it? Oh, automatic use of green herbs when in danger. Uh, so there's a lot to this game. Your objective as survivor is to get to the third area and escape before the timer runs out. Every good thing you do, such as damage enemies, heal allies, do objectives, increases your time, but every negative thing that occurs to you, such as taking damage from the mastermind, um, traps, all this stuff, uh, will reduce your time. Death reduces your time drastically. So it's always a tug of war of how much time you have left. It's also key to know that one teammate can really bring you down. So if you are going to lose because a teammate is so terrible, they don't know how to walk to an exit gate, then just do your best to get as many points as you can by killing zombies. Um, like when you start a game, problem everybody does is they just walk out. Go to this shop, buy a weapon. It'll be either be Quick Draw or Matilda at random or melee weapon if you want. Um, I The beginning pistol and the 2x4 are trash. So just discard the pistol. 2x4 uh, maybe keep. It's not terrible like the pistol is, but pistol's garbage. S the slow rate of fire, it's just not worth it. You could probably make do, but a mastermind who's on top of his game will destroy you with your pistol. But a quick draw army is so powerful. You could just bang bang. Oh, didn't register a second hit. There we go. Two shots should have killed him. This is like an extra 100 damage. So latency, you can see the orange thing there that tells me that my ping's not the best here. That means half my hits aren't gonna register. It is a peer-to-peer -peer game, so keep that in mind. If you see the ping flashing orange, it is uh, iffy. And then if it's red, you have terrible connection. You should just drop out of the game, honestly. Um, enemies will likely hit you from further away with this. Like, that should have hit me, but it didn't. That one did hit me, though. Liquors is scary. There we go. Gotta love this gun. So the downfall of the quick draw is that it is only six bullets, so it's a, it's pretty much one kill. But it's good enough compared to other things to get the job done. Kill, kill quickly. Be swift. Every kill gives you time, so it's always good. But every time you get grabbed, bit, you know, all that drops. Well, it's time to go. So always pay attention to the top. It tells you what to do. If it says gather at the exit, run to the exit. If you don't know where the exit is, well, lucky us, there is a map button. It is the select or back button on your controller. Shows you where you are, where you need to go. Every time you complete an objective, get a kill, or do certain things, you get more credits to spend. Every area unlocks new weapons at random, like we can get this MQ-11, which I don't need. The sledgehammer, though, would be beautiful. But we're actually just going to buy a lot of ammo because I'm going to be killing a lot. I'm going to be shooting like a madman. Okay. So pay attention to the mastermind at all times. Uh, mastermind is going to be placing things at you. If you see the cameras and they're red, it means he's looking through that camera. Be wary. 
You can shoot the camera to damage it. Uh, not wise unless you're January, because it takes a lot of bullets. We're looking for that zombie who has a key we're looking for. I can't get in there to shoot. Squeeze me. I would like the key. Person who finds the key is the only person who can do the security console. So this is one of the things where if someone doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, squeeze you, sir. Stop shooting us. That was my ability. Now that I know he's in there, I'm hacking him. Everything of his costs more now. So if he plays his cards, uh, it's going to cost him quite a bit. If the lights are off, there are light switches in the room. You can turn them back on, but it requires you to manually turn them on or they stay off forever. All right, so I'm just verifying where the security consoles are. If an ally finds them or if Valerie highlights them, that all works. Valerie can highlight them with her ability or if an enemy or an ally runs by it, it'll give you the icon that it exists. Just make sure you're doing it. There are three security consoles. We're doing really good on this one. This mastermind must be me. Two in one room? What? I've never seen that before. That is lucky. So they're shooting the camera so the mastermind won't be able to look in here once they break it. Yeah, they broke it, now the mastermind can drop on here, but we got a lot of time. You, you can explore, find items, get umbrella credits so you can buy better weapons. In fact, I might even buy a lightning hawk next round. I have so much ammo. Get some more credits. Traps, shoot them. They are no threat to me. Just grab all that extra ammo. Hold left bumper, it brings up commands. So someone's lost. We're moving. We're moving. You could also use those sprays. This place look worse. Over here. Let's go. There we are. Oh, this is a really great team. We're getting through this no problem. I have tried recording this three times, and each time I've had a disconnect. Someone who just wouldn't walk to the exit, and it, it was horrible. I've actually never had nine minutes before. This is a new record for me, for sure. So again, third area. This is the final area. Destroy the bio cores. To destroy bio cores, you will want a sledgehammer. Just get the sledgehammer, okay? Next, uh, I think I am actually going to just drop my quick draw army and actually grab a. I would love a lightning hawk if I can get one. Oh, oh. All right, no, we gotta pick up. I'm gonna save the rest of my money. I probably could have gotten the Lightning Hawk if I went for it, but again, if I was on a pre-made team, I probably would have just relied on my team to get the Sledgehammers. Sledgehammers deal a ton of damage to the uh, bio cores. So now we have to determine where they're at. Look up, there'll be an orange beam. There it is, I see it right there. So it's over that way. These elevators are more of a hindrance then they are a benefit to you. The best way to understand how these work, like they don't even know what they're doing, they're just taking the elevator up. They don't know where to go. You don't want the elevators up at all. You don't even want to take them up. Pull the elevator down, keep it down. The mastermind can actually push them back up. Um, the reason you want them down is because if they're up, they block your path of going in between. So you could just run and you just walk to where you're going and you don't have to take the elevator and go around. Okay. I think I brought a... Ooh, that's an armored zombie. I'm going to use my sledgehammer against him. Armored zombies take no damage from bullets, so you kind of have to use melee on them. And Mastermind's going to do his best to stop us, but sledgehammers are best when used here. I don't want to break it. I better go get... Oh, no. Okay. So I'm going to use my EMP to make everything more expensive. I got him. Alright, so we broke one. The orange light's on the other side. So this is what I mean by you want the elevator down. As soon as I kill a slicker. Got some ammo. Get some more ammo. Supply zombie. Ooh. So supply zombies give the mastermind legendary cards and survivors legendary weapons. I got him. There we go. 
So opening it up, what do I get? It is first a chemical flamethrower. There we go. So chemical flamethrower. That's amazing weapon right there. I'm gonna go ahead and shortcut that to my left. Okay, perfect. So this weapon you want to save for IVs? Ah, uh, see, they move the elevator up. Now it's a waste of my time to go all the way up here to go all the way over here and see they don't understand what they're doing. It's okay, you're new. See you later, sweetheart. You can't break them like that. Bye. I know, I'm leaving you behind. Not team-oriented, but not like you're doing anything anyways. That's so mean of me. I am so mean. All right, I am gonna need to drop this ammo. Discard the 11, because I'm gonna need this repair kit for that sledgehammer. Repair kits are like ammo, but for melee weapons. You'll see that my melee weapon has a some I wouldn't want to say ammo left, but uh, it's, easiest just to do things yourself. it's you got understand. it's got durability, and the repair kits instantly replenish the durability to max when you run out. And I just don't want to run out because I don't know if it breaks if it goes to zero. And I don't want to test that right now. Okay, I'll just use my gun. But as you can see, significantly less damage, a lot more resources. I could probably try knife. Let's try knife. Uh, I mean, it's slow, but at least it doesn't cost me anything. His punches actually do something good. This team is learning. They're brand new. I'm definitely doing everything. So you can see, again, orange light up there. The middle one is accessed via... Wait, do I have two repair kits? Sweet. It's via the other side. You could take the elevator to get really close, but again, I'm going to show you why you keep the elevator down. It takes time to take that okay, son of a bitch stop. down or up or any direction, so don't take it. Walk. It probably takes longer to walk around, but if allies are trying to get over here as well, if I took the elevator, they have to call it back down and accept on trap like the goober. Sorry for the inconvenience. But I as you can see, it's just so much easier to... Up walk you can access everything as long as all elevators are down so you probably just to make life easy for everyone just put everything down okay that's death that's unfortunate well they're shooting this without shooting him so i'm dead if an ally is grabbed shoot mr x that would be helpful i sh should have paid attention but i didn't hear that he was summoned so they broke it though, so when you die, you come back instantly. Uh, I could buy my lightning hawk now. Yeah, I got a lot of money. I'm buying that lightning hawk, yes. Thank you, and I still have my chemical flamethrower. So we will go ahead and discard that. Quick draw, because I won't need it. Pretty much everything uses the same ammo. Uh, just they use different amounts of it. So the lightning hawk is four ammo per bullet. So I have like a ton of ammo, but only 58 shots. Oh, you're dead? Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, go away, go away. No, you ain't touching me. What are you doing, dude? Go away. All right, I don't want her to die if she fully bleeds out. That's 30 seconds of time gone. It's 15 seconds going down. You do get 15 seconds back if you revive them, just like that. Mr. X finally ran out. I'm gonna go ahead and vent that. Alright, that'll cause everything to cost more. Shit. Ooh, what a jerk. Can't shoot it. So as you saw, even with my Magnum, you can't shoot. These guys don't know. You have to pull the actual lever. You can't stand here. No, no camera for sure. Sometimes it's easiest just to do things yourself. You understand me. All right, so I'm just gonna try to control the cameras. Oh, it gets a shield. That's cool. I didn't know that. Oh, time to go. Simple. I didn't even get to use the lightning hawk. Lightning hawk. Beautiful gun. 
So we made it. This is a rare occurrence, and that was a brand new mastermind and brand new survivors. I could definitely tell they were uh, learning. You and you resisted. Good for you. Um, I've I had a lot of trial and error runs on this in terms of. Ooh, got an S rank. That's the highest rank you can get. Maximum score is 5,000. Um, so. There's there's a lot of runs I did trying to record this to show all three areas, but um, in most of my runs it would be one person, just one. It's not like we were doing bad, but it'd be one person who just doesn't come to the execute, and we sit there, and they keep dying, or we go and try to get them here, but they wander off into another room and just keep running around in circles. It's like, we gotta go. Um, that's the worst part about this game, is just sometimes the teammates are really bad. And I played some Dead by Daylight, uh, you know, and I'm sure some of you have too. And you know, in Dead by Daylight, the equivalent would be um, people don't work on generators. Just like people don't walk to doors. It's, it's not that hard. It's worse when someone picks up a key item and does not turn it in, because... The key item goes in your inventory, so it actually takes up an inventory slot, and they can discard it. In fact, anything discarded in this game goes on the ground, so if you want to give something to an ally, just discard it, and they can pick it up. Um, but if someone picks up a key item and then has their thumb up their ass and just walks in circles, it is a terrible experience, but the best way to mitigate this is just do your best to get as many kills as you can so you can get as much score. In the end, you are scored on your time, your technique, and your mission. Mission is your objectives. Technique, I believe, is you killing zombies. I I'm gonna say that's what I believe, because when you kill a lot of zombies, it's pretty nice. Um, otherwise, you know, just do your best to have fun and experiment with the guns. There's shotguns, SMGs. In area two, you get most of your unlocks, and you'll see that each area has unique weapons. I highly recommend always buying one upgraded gun either the matilda or quick draw army at area one if you don't do that you are going to have a rough time with a mastermind who just rushes you um a mastermind controlling a tough berserked zombie can easily take down four people without upgraded weapons the upgraded weapons make such a massive difference because the quick draw the reason it's so good is it shoots very fast and that very fast shot causes zombies to become staggered and that allows allies with melee weapons to come in for the finish same thing for the matilda it shoots a lot faster than the standard pistol is it much stronger no but it's faster and that's the key this is a Resident Evil game, so treat it like it. You hear a liquor, you could actually walk by it, but the moment someone shoots or runs, that liquor knows where you're at. Uh, same with Mr. X, he's unkillable, don't shoot him. If he grabs an ally, shoot him in the face. It stuns him. You don't even need a strong gun to do it, just shoot him a lot in the face. Uh, that's really it. And if someone's down in an area you can't save them, let them die. It's 30 seconds, as long as you can manage the time, you're fine. With that out of the way, there's a lot of mechanics in the game that we could cover, but I hope these tips just help you get off the ground and get going. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game.